So, uh, first of all, Stefan, thank you very much, and to uh, all of the partners that have worked with us. And all I can tell you is I'm, I'm really relieved. It's a lot of hours of tension. We still have a little bit of tension because we need to connect with our, our spacecraft, but uh, none of this could have been possible. First of all, of course, uh, Greg, for having the idea, for filing with the ITU, uh, for stubbornly moving forward, uh, getting people excited, uh, and for uh, 350 people at OneWeb, for hundreds more uh, between OneWeb satellites, our Airbus, uh, Ariane Espace, RUAG, uh, Qualcomm, we're working on the chips. Uh, we are a group effort among lots of companies. Uh, and talking about what we talked about earlier today, I don't think we really understand what we did today. Uh, I think that the amount of useful space uh, to be uh, monetized, to change the use cases, uh, it, it's, it's tremendous. Uh, and we don't really know everything that we can do. And uh, listen, I'm very thankful to be able to, uh, to work at this company. It's very, very few times that you get an opportunity uh, to work in a company that has this much scale uh, this much impact, uh, and uh, and really the the notion of doing some good uh, is not uh, some PR. It's deep in the foundations of the DNA of the company, uh, and uh, we're very much looking forward to doing our part to connecting as many schools as we can, in partnership with our partners uh, and governments. And the last thing is, uh, I can see that this is a great European effort, uh, and I think that is very meaningful for us as a. I, I, I don't speak British, but uh, we are a UK company uh, for the French as well. Tony's very uh, English or French, uh, and so we're very delighted to work with everybody uh, and to uh, make OneWeb uh, and all, all his partners as successful as possible. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adrian. Um, Good evening to everyone here in uh, French Guiana. Bonne, uh, bonsoir. Uh, good evening also to our friends and uh, colleagues who are throughout the world. I mean, there are various places worldwide uh, watching this, uh, this live stream. Uh, allow me to, uh, to give a warm applause um, to those guys in, uh, in Toulouse. We had more than 1,000 people in Toulouse watching live, and that, uh, that's, uh, that's very good. And. Um, he, wa he was here, I, mean, I think he left a few minutes ago, but uh, uh, as, as you did, Stefan, I would like to, very special tribute to, to Tom, uh, the CEO of Airbus, who has been, he has been really pivotal in uh, engaging Airbus in this uh, amazing uh, uh, one web venture from the beginning, uh, means three, three and a half, almost four years ago. Uh, it was, was really great. And last and not, but not least, a uh, warm welcome to our colleagues, partners, friends, of the space industry, again, worldwide. And um, if you allow me, I would like to have a special tribute and thanks and congratulations to some teams. First of all, the, the, the OneWeb. Uh, uh, Greg, I don't know, Greg, Greg. Greg and Adrian, I think uh, you guys, uh, congrats for taking your first steps today to close the digital divide. Uh, your dreams is also our dream, uh, is becoming a reality today, and you, you need to be warmly thanked for this. Well done. <laughs> Second one, uh, it's Airbus OneWeb Ventures, and uh, Tony, you are, you are the man here, and uh, uh, um, uh, Stefan, you mentioned Eric. Eric, your predecessor, did also a very great job. I think uh, the teams at Airbus, together with the industrial partners, are um, taking uh, on this challenge to design and manufacture the one-way pilots in such a short and challenging uh, time frame, which was uh, absolutely amazing. At the same time, setting new standards for the space industry. Everything is ready for the, for the mass production of several salads per day. It's a short sentence, but it means uh, a lot for us. It's been a real challenge to get here, but here we are eagerly waiting for the first telemetry signals from above ahead a um, couple of minutes from now, uh, just uh, waiting. And if, if, if you hear something, just wave at us. Um, last, uh, uh, third one to be thanked are in space, and uh, Stefan, again, for several times, I mean, you, are, you and your teams uh, with the Russian colleagues have, have delivered again 
uh, spot on, providing a world class access to space, and really be thanks for thank for this. Last but not least, I would like also to thank uh, institution partners, and we had the French government representative uh, here this evening. Thanks for their uh, strong support in this ambitious program and for having helped us to make new space a reality. This one web experience has really inspired us uh, to develop new mindset in all areas in design, in equipment supply, new approaches for production and processes. This is real new space. And you can trust on us to keep evolving and improving with OneWeb uh, to ensure to remain the leader for developing constellations in the years to come. Thanks to everyone involved in this program who have worked together, sharing know-how, efforts, and I think it's very important, also a lot of passion. Days like today are a reward Let's embark full speed in the next steps, churning out the satellites for the entire constellation from brand new facility in Florida. As it was said several times this evening, this is only the end of the beginning. Thanks very much. Okay, so uh, dear uh, friends, maybe a, a few more because the night is just starting. Uh, Nicolas said uh, this is uh, just the end uh, of the beginning. And so we have already some next steps. First, as we do uh, every time, I would like to announce our two next launches. And uh, next one will be with uh, our Vega champion for uh, OHB Italia on behalf of ASI and it will be a very important satellite. It will be an Earth observation satellite, Prisma. It will be the 14th of March. And second, Soyuz uh, will be back in the Guyana Space Center, 29th of March, for a very uh, key partner and customer for us. It is SES O3B. We will deliver the fifth launch of O3B SES, the 29th of March. Okay, but there are two other things more. During the evening, we will have uh, the pictures of the launch because we had an uh, onboard camera and uh, we will have uh, wonderful pictures. They are not totally ready yet, but uh, they will come soon and uh, it will be part of the show and we will see amazing pictures of tonight's success. Moreover, since months, we are discussing with our partner OneWeb on what we could do together on top of the 21 Soyuz. So we have a lot to do together, but we are not satisfied because we are happy with the 21 Soyuz and we have seen tonight our Soyuz is amazing, but we need a little more. And so I am pleased to announce that Iron Space and OneWeb have reached an agreement that completes its current launch services order with Iron Space. This agreement consists of one's one's one web's use of the inaugural IN6 flight, it would be an IN62, as well as two options for two future IN6 missions. So I can announce tonight that the maiden flight of the IN62 will be delivered for one web. And so maybe we could have on stage uh, Greg, Winner, uh, Adrian, uh, Nicola, and uh, just uh, and uh, Anthony just to celebrate this uh, success. So come with us, please. Okay. End of the show. <laughs>